This is a great way to start a solar video. The sun is out right over there and it's raining. Come on, Texas. At least my car's gonna get a shower that it really needs. I just wanted to give a quick note. In this video, I'm gonna say these are gifted to me and I mean a friend gave them to me and not Renegy. So I just wanted to get that out there. And on to the video. Today, we're gonna to be looking at two new solar panels to me. I was recently gifted these guys. We got the Econ Flow and the E-Flex. I think the Flow is a 60 watt uh, solar panel and the E-Flex is an 80 watt solar panel. Let's go ahead and open them up. It's my first time looking at these. Oh, very, very, very nice. Very rigid bodies. I do like this. Uh, my first thoughts off the bat is the back is missing little stands or foots to stand it up on to something. So I think this is meant just to be laid flat on the ground. How these did come to me, they did not have uh, additional power cables, so they just came with the standard plugs next to them. So I went ahead and ordered some plugs online and I'm gonna be using those. Um, this little nice um, foam thing keeps them separate and I think bet at the proper angle here. Um, there's specs right here. Again, this is a 60 watt Econ Flow and it does up to 3.3 amps. So we're gonna test that out here in a minute. Let's go ahead and look at the other one. Oof, this is a bit heavier. Ugh. This one does come with a little foot brace so you can angle it nicely towards the sun. Um, the standard um, power plugs that I've seen on most of the uh, solar panels, not power poles. That was open it up. It's quite a little bit heavier than the uh, Econ Flow. This is the E-Flex 80, 80 watt solar panel and it does 4.9 amps. Very nice, very nice. I like the big space. They feel very durable and they have these little plastic protectors on the ends. I do, I do like that. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the front yard where there's some sun and let's put these out in some sun and put some voltmeters on them. Before we get too far into the video, I wanna go ahead and talk about this cable I picked up. Link's in the description below, but this is a heavy duty um, power cable, I think 10 gauge um, and it's heavy. It's very heavy. Um, I kind of regret buying this, but the, due to the heavy duty, these the cables and everything, I don't think it's going to wear pretty easily. But um, putting the power pole connectors on it last night, I did have to trim a bit of the outside of the plastic off to get the connectors in the uh, sheathing there correctly. But um, this whole setup by itself is a little heavy, so I won't be taking it on a backpack trip even though they're really, really bulky also to begin with. So this is perfect for car camping and RV camping because just throw it in the trunk, you'll be fine. Throw these in the trunk, also be fine. There's just a little bit annoying to put these on. Here we go, we're all set up. We got the uh, solar panels going through the uh, cables we got on Amazon. I have uh, both setups here, a voltmeter in line and running to our batteries so that we can go ahead and get a read of the amperage that these guys are giving off and also just check the voltage. Of course, it'll be sunny all morning and I set everything up and the clouds roll in. There we go. While we have no sun or planes going by, this larger one is giving us four amps. I'm trying to see that clearly. 3.3 Two, oh, it was just at four for a second. I promise you it was at four. And it's a big cloud, so it's gonna be coming and going. And this other smaller one, we're reading currently 2.2, 2.5, most of three. This one should be able to get up to a 3.3, I think. Getting brighter, getting brighter, getting brighter. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's a three, 3.1. I'm just gonna blame it on the day that we have here today. This one just showed 4.2. So these do do what they're rated for. I'm very happy with that. In the direct sunlights, I am seeing what they are rated for off the bat. I am very pleased by that. Um, but 
But if you're running a lot of power like a FT DX10 with uh, FT8 running at 70 watts, you got your laptop going and you got a couple other things plugged in, let me show you what you should do to get more amps and make your batteries last longer. We are at a park and we are running some serious power. We are pulling about six to seven amps per cycle on FT8. I've seen it happen and we got additional loads. What we can do, we can put these in parallel with a power pole hub so that they can provide more amperage at the same current and that's very important. So let me show you the setup here. We have this solar panel going through this guy giving us currently a 1.5 to 2 watts based on our dynamic sun here into the hub here. Then we have this guy providing off and on up to a 3 watts or so. There it is. Going into this hub also. So from the hub, we go to our buddy pole too. And right now it's showing us we are jumping up to seven on a good point amps going into our battery. When we have a lot of load, we can put these in parallel, parallel is the key. If you put them in series, then you're not upping the amperage, you're upping the volts, and that's bad. But when we up the amperage, that means we can have more work done. And that means we won't be drawing our battery down as fast. So we'll be using the power off the solar, along with some of the battery, to help power our whole system. And that is very cool and very key to, wait, to have our activations go longer so we can have more power into the radio, so we can do what? Have more fun. Fix is a fun. And since this is a nice coupler here, we can add more solar panels if we really wanted to. Um, but that is our first look of the system and another idea what you can do with multiple solar panels. Uh, for links to everything is in my description and thank y'all for watching. Go forth and conquer.